delicious slimes have invaded our school supplies. They've settled in markers and folders, in a pointer, a pencil case, and a glue stick. How can you sneak edible slimes into class? Find out in our new video. Christy and Vicky can't even imagine a single day without their beloved slimes. They play with slimes everywhere and leave sticky traces. Time for class, but Mr. Sebastian can't sit at his desk. It looks like there was a great battle of slimes against humanity here. What a mess! The remains of slime in Christy's hair give the girls away. So that's who made this mess. From now on, our classroom rules will be much stricter. No slimes in class. But the girls know how to trick their teacher. Vicky snuck edible slimes in markers. Sort gummy bears by colors and melt them in a microwave. Thoroughly clean the body of a marker. Crumple foil and put it inside. Add one part cornstarch and two parts powdered sugar to the melted gummy bears. Mix colorful slimes and stick them into the marker bodies. Unusual slimes hide in regular markers. How delicious! Stretch it out and chew. And when Mr. Sebastian notices something suspicious, we act like we're writing with regular markers. Vicky has something interesting hidden in her glue stick, but Christy is sure that a glue stick is not trendy anymore. Everyone eats slimes out of Elmer's tubes now. Melt marshmallows in a microwave. Add powdered sugar. Mix sweet slime. Put cornstarch into clean glue tubes. Stretch out the slime and place it inside. Roll a stick out of the remaining slime and put it into a glue stick tube. Cut off the excess. The friends have slimes hidden in every imaginable tube. Choose whichever one you want. A glue stick with a slime or a tube with sweet starchy glue. This is so unusual. The teacher appears all of a sudden. But the slime inspection doesn't detect any violations. It's just glue, Mr. Sebastian. Christy has a special pencil case with a secret bottom. She snuck forbidden Nutella slime into class in it. Cut out a plastic bottom to fit a pencil case. Add Nutella to melted marshmallow. Thoroughly mix it. Put slime into the pencil case and cover it with a piece of plastic. Edible Nutella slime is a hot trend. Vicky stretches out this chocolate slime. But the teacher smells her yummy treat. Christy turns her friend in. And Vicky is kicked out of the classroom. How embarrassing! And Christy got away with it? But it's not very likely that her friend will forgive her. Mr. Sebastian is looking for a pointer. There it is. Attach a chopstick to a cylindrical bottle. Make it more 3D at the base with hot glue. Color it with acrylic paint. Melt jelly candies. Put in a spoon of cornstarch and powdered sugar. Stir it and fill the bottle with slime. Screw on the cap with the pointer. Sebastian is trying to point at the information on the board. But the pointer is acting strange. It's suspiciously soft and smells nice. Oh, I see. It's edible slime. So it means that Christy is to blame. The teacher didn't like her sweet gift. Well, then Christy will eat it herself. 
Christy has a new desk neighbor. She wonders if Cindy likes slimes. It turns out that she knows a thing or two about edible slimes. Attach a smaller zip file bag to a clear envelope folder. Tape them together. Cut a frame out of felt. Attach the felt frame to the folder. Mix one part tapioca starch with two parts water. Heat it in a microwave until you get a clear slime consistency. Add sprinkles. Mix slime and fill the Ziploc bag with it. Attach a Troop Shroom logo. The most important thing is to not mix up where the slime is and where the notebooks are. It's so original and delicious. Cindy's desk is tidy, and Christy's desk is messy as always. Cindy wants to teach her neighbor some order. Everything is always in its place inside her pencil case. For studying and for a sweet snack. For example, this bright eraser. It's edible. Melt marshmallows in a microwave. Add butter. And some cornstarch. Mix the mass and divide it into three parts. Add food colorings to the slimes. Cut yellow slime to fit the shape of a rectangular eraser. Cut a package out of clear plastic and assemble it. And put the sweet eraser into the package. That's a pretty good idea. Christy has never had a slime eraser before. And meanwhile, Cindy chews on a slime pencil. Roll out marshmallow slime to be the same shape as a pencil. Coat a straw with it and wrap the sweet pencil in glossy paper. Let's see what else is in my neighbor's pencil case. And Cindy is already taking out her edible ruler. Draw a ruler on clear plastic. Cut it out. Stretch out marshmallow slime to be the shape of a ruler. Cut it following the clear plastic template. Turn the slime and the template over and place the plastic ruler with hatch marks on top. Cindy has a sweet eraser, a delicious pencil, and a stretchy ruler. But the teacher ruins their little picnic. The girls are eating forbidden slimes again. Understood. Let's take this overly sweet pencil case away. Cindy asks her neighbor to finally clean her desk. And she even prepared a special organizer. Color a plastic jar with acrylic paint. Cut colored pencils and hot glue them all around the lid. Take refills out of pens and put in pretzel sticks instead. Slice cheese and pour in milk. Melt it in a microwave. Put the cheese slime you get into the jar. Screw on the lid and put the pens with pretzels on top. Christy puts her pens into the organizer. She deserves a treat for cleaning. There are pretzel sticks inside the pens and there is cheese slime inside the organizer. What a tasty snack. Cleaning your desk sometimes can be nice. Mr. Sebastian gives us a new geography assignment. We have to make a new continent out of Play-Doh. Well, it's not going to be easy. But Cindy has found a way to use modeling clay. Put Mamba candies into three containers. Add different food colorings to them and melt them in a microwave. Add equal amounts of cornstarch and powdered sugar to each container. Mix bright slime. 
place them in clean Play-Doh jars. Cindy takes the modeling clay out and eats it! It's edible slime! How sneaky! Christy opens up her jar of Play-Doh hoping for the best, but she gets clay. Ew! Gross! That's okay. Cindy will gladly share with her friend. But there is just one problem. They run out of edible Play-Doh so quickly. Mr. Sebastian faces a problem. His hole puncher refuses to work. That's unacceptable. Melt Coca-Cola flavored gummy candies in a microwave. Put in two parts powdered sugar and one part cornstarch. Add food coloring to the slime you get and put it into a hole puncher container. The teacher opens up the container. Ah, now he understands the problem. The girls snuck in some sweet slime again. It must be a compliment to Mr. Sebastian on his teaching efforts. Did you like our edible slimes? Then write in the comments how you will sneak delicious slime into class. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you don't miss new back to school hacks on Troom Troom.